if a giant talking cat just breaks into your house, you know, just, just tase them. Just... Hey, kids, have you seen the Cat in the Hat live-action movie? If you haven't, awesome! If you have seen it, I'm very sorry. I crush in your head. Crush, crush. I crush you. And I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. <laughs> That's the susiest part of the story so far. Well, I gotta read all of this? Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, Mr. Steve, and it's time for another story time a day. I'm doing a story time once a day, every day, maybe not always a story time, a video a day during this coronavirus pandemic in the hopes of entertaining kids, entertaining children, get your mind off of things for a little bit. Because right now things are kind of dark and I don't want you kids to be in a dark mindset. You know, I want to cheer you kids up, which is why... Uh, I've got a really cheery book that will wash away all of the sadness and the darkness. I was going to read The Cat in the Hat, but I decided instead to read something else. The Walking Dead, Rise of the Governor. This is a cheery book that will no doubt really, really... Don't shake your head at me, Maxwell. This is a cheery book that will no doubt brighten no. your day. No. Now, uh, excuse me, kids. Excuse no. me. No. Trying to read this book no. for the kids. Okay? No. It occurs to Brian Blake as he no. huddles in the musty darkness. No. The terror constricting his chest. The no. no. Guys. No. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Maybe I'll do this another story time, okay? The, fine, fine, no. fine. No. Fine. We're going to read this book today. The Cat in the Hat. Let me tell you what this book is about. It's all about this elephant named Horton. Okay? The cat in the hat. I'm having a great hair day today. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm getting distracted. Do you like my shirt? It says Daddy on it. We were playing Jackbox one day, and Maxwell came up with the design. He drew this. And then he put the name Daddy as the caption underneath. And so we ordered it as a t-shirt, and now I wear it sometimes. And the majority of the people who see this shirt think that it's cute. Some other people get other ideas about the shirt, but it's fine. The Cat in the Hat. It's all about this green guy, and he hates Christmas. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. The end. Well, that was a short book. No. It What? It's not the end. Oh, it's not the end? No. Oh, okay. Then... I guess I'll keep reading. I, I really feel this bird here. You see this bird? It's like, dude, go in the tree. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. All we could do was sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something Went bump. How that bump made us jump. Woo! 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 We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him. It was SpongeBob SquarePants. No. And SpongeBob said, Hey Patrick, what do you want to do today? And Patrick said, I don't know. What do you want to no, do today? And SpongeBob Spon said, I don't know. What do no, you want to do today? Not... And Patrick said, no. oh, What? This is the book. It's Dr. Seuss. It's a classic. We looked and we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun. That is funny. It's like, okay, if a giant talking cat just breaks into your house, you know, just, just tase him. Just... <laughs> Call nine, call nine eleven. It's like this is illegal trespassing. 
But you don't want to go outside. Look at all those tornadoes. Tornado, tornado. Don't want to go outside. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother would not... Your mother would not mind at all if I do. Do you think that's true, though? I don't think that's true. Uh, I think the mother would mind. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for that day. How about get out, you cat that just broke into my house? Get a bat. But our fish said, no, no. Make that cat go away. Tell the cat in that hat you do not want to play. Hey, kids, have you seen the Cat in the Hat live-action movie? If you haven't, awesome! If you have seen it, I'm very sorry. Sorry for your loss. Your loss of what? Your loss of your childhood. My daughter Amber loves that movie, which is why she's insane. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. First off, the fish is the only person who's making sense here. This is what the kids should be doing. Also, if your fish just jumps out of its fishbowl and starts talking to you, maybe you should listen. A lot of this is on you kids for not listening to the fish. Yeah. No, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game I call Up, Up, Up with a Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all, put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat, I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball, with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat, but that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me, this page is too hard, I'm just going to skip it. Is that a good idea, skipping no! the page? But it's hard, look at all those words. Mm -hmm. No, don't spit. Mm, I think I spit. Well, I got to read all of this? Ah, uh, fine. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, unique New York. The human torch was denied a bank loan. I don't need any water, thank you. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Now it is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on the rake. And I can hold the toy ship and the little toy man. And look with my tail. I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. <sighs> that was hard. I don't need water. I need an inhaler, but I should be fine right now. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. Oh, man. Somebody called Law and Order. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down, too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Do I like it? Oh, no. I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. Which I, I think is an old-timey way of saying he was upset. As he lit? No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house, and you bent our new rake. We just bought that at Lowe's. It was $3,000. <laughs> Plays MP3s and makes espressos. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat. So, so, so. <gasps> I will show you another good game that I know. It's like, dude, what about, how about Monopoly? Yeah. You know what's weird that, like, Back in my day, there was one Monopoly. Now there's like 80 different Monopolies. There's like 300 different Monopolies. It's the new thing. Can't just buy M&Ms anymore. 
There's 80 M&Ms. Good luck buying Cheerios. And, anyway. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box, it was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Dude, you are not doing proper lifting techniques. You want to say something to the story time? Okay, what do you want to say? Guys, guys, uh, do you know Cat likes to be in the house? I know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Wow, thanks for that insightful commentary. Then he got up on top. With a tip of his hat, this game I call fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things. I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things. And I call them Jimmy the Weasel and Johnny Two Times. He says things two times. I'm going to go get the papers. Get the papers. That's not what they're called. Oh. Uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy. No? It's not what they're called? Oh, Sam and Dean. Boom. That's not what they're called? Okay, hold on. Hold, oh, oh. Uh, you will see something new. Two things, and I call them Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. No? Okay, fine. Uh, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. You don't have to do anything this cat says. This cat broke into your house, has started destroying stuff, you can just say no. Just say no. Okay? A, lar a large portion of this sure is the cat's fault, but also it's your you kids' fault for not stopping any of this. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, No, no. These things should not be in the house. Make them go. Yeah, listen to the fish. Listen to the fish. To the fish. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame. Oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Nice hair. They're all Danny from Game Grumps. Danny they got, from Game. Yeah, they got Danny from Game Grumps hair. Yeah. So that's that's neat. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. It's like, dude, there's no wind in the house. How are they How are they flying kites in the house? No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump, all the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Listen to the, listen to your fish. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Oh no, I hope they don't hit the kids in the hall. I crash in your head. Crash, crash. I crash you. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down on the string of one kite. We saw Mother's new gown, her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. That looks hideous. You know what, girlfriend? Thing two and thing one, they are doing you a favor getting rid of that dress. Blech. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of the bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks. Oh, maybe they are the Hardy Boys. And with hops and big thumps and all kind of bad tricks. And I said, at page 45, mind you, I do not like the way that they play. Oh, congratulations, genius. It took this long. Okay, whatever. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. <laughs> Ooh. 
Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So, do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. <laughs> That's the susiest part of the story so far. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. And I said to the cat, no, you do as I say. You pack up those things, and you take them away. Oh, dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. And look at his face right there. Dude, same. 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 Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes. But your mother will come. She will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. So then Mom came home, and then the kids got grounded. The end. And then who is back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so... I will show you another good trick that I know. And we... Ugh, there's a lot of words here. I don't have to read all of them, right? I can just... Skip this page? No, that's... <sighs> okay. Uh... Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the string and the book and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish, and he put them away. And then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with a tip of his hat. And our mother came in, and he, and she said to us, then our mother came in, and she said to us, too, Did you have any fun? Oh, tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? You be the judge. And that's the end of that story. Yay! Yay! Well, kids, thanks for watching that story. That was a fun one. How are you kids doing being uh, stuck at home? You guys doing good? Don't worry about me, kids. I got, I got, I got, I got all the essentials. Essential number one. Essential number two. And just to be safe, I also got a whole box of De La Rosas. You probably know these from our Mexicrate taste test and video. Guys, if you haven't seen that, you should. Guys, it's really good. And guys, take a bag of story time that. Wah, wah. Yes. Uh, I normally do live story times at LoveWorks Leadership. They're a wonderful nonprofit in Norman, Oklahoma. I am not doing them at the present moment because everyone is locked at home. But there's going to be something happening soon. Be sure and check out LoveWorks. I can't tell you, but uh, something is going to be happening soon. Sure, you can have one. So uh, something is happening in the world of LoveWorks and Mr. Steve. So be sure and check out LoveWorks Leadership on Facebook for more information. Anyway, I'm going to pig out on some supplies. I will see you later, guys. Be sure and join us tomorrow for another video. What's that going to be? Who knows? Bye, guys. Be sure and like and subscribe. Bye. Stop. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>Uh, before he became a famous uh, kids book writer, Dr. Seuss wrote a movie for kids. I believe it's called The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T.
It's about this kid, and he goes to he he takes these piano lessons, and he hates them. So he goes to sleep and finds himself in a world where his piano teacher is evil, and he's kidnapping kids to play the world's largest piano. And it's everything you would expect from Dr. Seuss. It's so bizarre and weird. It happens in an amazing castle with a tickle to death torture chamber and a 500-player piano with 480,000 keys. It's a musical merry-go-round sparkling with songs and dances, whirling you away to a new world of wonder. And the bad guy is played by the guy who did the voice of Captain Hook in Peter Pan. So it's neat to see him in real life. He looks a lot like Captain Hook. Dr. T is sweet on Mrs. C. So is Mr. Z, the plumber, who fixes sinks and knows all the angles. When the plumber Zabladowski has installed the last sink, I want him disintegrated. Atom by atom. It's a bizarre movie. It, it is no doubt available right now for DVD, on DVD at your local public library. Good luck getting it, though. But The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. I know bad movies. This one's not bad. It's just weird. Real weird. Probably the best part of The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T is there's... A, it's called The Dungeon Song, but there... It, in an elevator and they're going down to the dungeon and there's an elevator operator and he's singing in this creepy mask it's so weird second floor dungeon it's so weird <laughs> but yeah the video's available to rent on YouTube and Google and all those sort of things it's out there and you should check it out I just wanted to take some time to mention this film because it is so bizarre that I love it very much. So be sure and check that out. The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. A Mr. Steve must watch.